Welcome back to our special coverage tonight. There are so many remarkable stories of survival uh, like this one, when a daughter was shot and her mother feared that she was dead. And a year later, the backbone of the Melanson family continues on her road to recovery. 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro spoke with the mother. She is live at the convention center tonight where there has been a blood drive throughout the day. Karen? Well, Denise and Brian, over the last year, Rosemary Melanson has been really beating the odds time and time again. It hasn't been easy, but less than a month ago, she had what her family was hoping would be her last surgery. Every day is a new challenge. Rosemary Melanson is surrounded by loved ones, helping her get better one day at a time. Sometimes they're good days, and, and some days. Since 1 October, Rosemary has only been home about five weeks. She has been in and out of the hospital and has had 12 surgeries. When we spoke with her, the mother of four was weeks away from another one. Doctors told her it may be her last. I'm excited because it's not too far away. And I want it to be fixed for good. But at the same time, there's always that doubt. What if? Eight News Now was there when she was first discharged from the hospital in early February. She had been fighting for her life for four months and was the last survivor to go home. But after some complications, she was back days later. I think my whole outlook is different. You know, you go through so many emotions. Emotions that she hasn't been able to process. She now suffers from anxiety as she continues to recover physically. But her strength and her will to keep fighting has impressed her close-knit family. Well, I knew she was strong and stubborn, but I didn't know how strong and stubborn she was. Paige and her sister Stephanie Melanson were at the concert with their mother. Paige was grazed by a bullet. After seeing Rosemary in the emergency room for the first time, she knew her mother was barely hanging on to life. Seeing her connected to everything, tubes and breathing machines, like I've never imagined I'd see my mom like that. Rosemary's husband of 31 years, Steve Melanson, says even the doctors could not explain how she survived after taking a bullet in the shoulder that damaged several of her vital organs. And it's just by the grace of God that you know, she survived. He recalls an interesting conversation with his wife after she woke up for the first time following the shooting. Rosemary has forgotten a lot of the details of that night, but she recalls having an out of body experience after she was shot. And then after that, she said she remembers um, rising above her body, looking down at her body in the grass, hearing the gunshots. Hearing the people screaming. Just like his children, Steve has been by Rosemary's side every step of the way. I mean, she's my hero. She's my rock. She's. Steve can't imagine life without his soulmate. He thought he had lost her in the shooting after hours of searching several hospitals. Her name was not listed anywhere, so he turned to his daughter. I told her, I said, I don't think mom made it. Because her name was never on the list. But Rosemary cheated death and survived catastrophic injuries. We may be Vegas strong, but as a family, we're Melanson strong. Yeah. <laughs> When she's physically able, Rosemary is looking forward to giving back to the community that has given so much to her. The amount of cards, the amount of gifts, just unbelievable. And Rosemary is back home after having surgery in early September, but her family tells me that she's still having to deal with medical complications. Still, Rosemary remains optimistic that one day when she's healthier, she'll be able to go on vacation, and she says she just wants to get away. Reporting live, Karen Castro, 8 News Now. Karen, thank you. It's a beautiful story. She's been following that family for quite some time. Uh